What makes us love football? Some may say it's because of the exciting matches and in thrilling performances. Others, on the other hand, consider football a form of entertainment, helping them to relax during leisure time. On the other side, there are also those who treat football as a highly profitable business. Unfortunately, as in any sport, there are frauds whose aim is to take their chance to get rich or experience an unforgettable adventure. In today's video, we would like to focus on such a person, as the topic of today's video is the story of Carlos Kaiser, football's greatest fraud. So let's get into it. Let's start from the beginning. Carlos Kaiser, as he was known, was born on July 2, 1963 in Rio Pardo. His mother was a chef, while his father worked in a lift manufacturing company. As a child, Kaiser joined his father's favourite football team, the Botafogo Football Academy. Later, the Brazilian joined Flamengo's youth team, playing there until 1977. The first senior club of his career was Mexican side Puebla FC, who signed him in 1979. And that's where the story of football's greatest fraud begins. So, why has Kaiser been called a fraud? Well, because in every club he went to, he had no intention of kicking a ball. An amusing story about Kaiser was once told by the former Brazilian defender Ricardo Rocha, who said this. When the action took place on the left wing, he would stand on the right one. When the ball was on the right wing, Kaiser would run to the left wing. He did everything to avoid the game and not get exposed. After training, we told him, Carlos, you haven't touched the ball once during the whole training. His excuse was that he had a unique playstyle. Thanks to his creativity, Kaiser managed to travel across the world, along the way signing for a whole host of different teams. He played, so to speak, in the United States, Mexico and even France. Of course, there are more anecdotes about the Brazilian, with one of our favourites being the story about his unveiling at French club Gazilec Ajaccio. The footballer was told to show a sample of his skills in front of the club's fans, who had gathered in the stands. Kaiser received a few balls and shot them all into the crowd while kissing the club's badge. So why did he do that? As he later explained, it was his greeting gift for the new fans. At the end of his extraordinary career, Carlos Kaiser finally admitted his thought process behind his behaviour, saying this, I wanted to be a football star, but I didn't want to play. I didn't play, kick or shoot. I was an anti-footballer. It's not my problem that everyone else wanted me to play. Bebeto, the 1994 world champion, laughed at the clubs that hired Kaiser over and over, going on record as to say the following. I saw in the paper that Carlos had signed for a different club, and I was hitting my head. Man, he's got a new club again. I couldn't understand it, because he was terrible. Among his friends, Kaiser was called 171. But why was this? Well, the nickname is in reference to the legal code of Brazil, where paragraph 171 deals with fraud. So, what is Kaiser doing now? After his playing career, he became a fitness trainer at a gym. So, let's hope that he puts a little bit more effort into his training career than he did his playing one. Well, that concludes today's video. And just a reminder, we're inviting all football fans to join the free browser game footballteamgame.com. Simply follow the link in the description. Apart from that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.